Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching the viewpoints here on DBS television. Since the outbreak of uh, the Anglophone crisis in the Northwest and Southwest regions, efforts have been made by both the government, the external elite, by foreign countries and civil society to bring an end or look for a solution to the crisis. In today's edition of the program, we are looking at possibilities of the church bro trying to broker peace into this crisis. And in today's edition of the program, we are having our guests. They are not new. They are all of them in the studio. We begin with Apostle Tabby Ayong, uh, Tabby Simon Ayong. He is, uh, you know, we call him a consultant when it comes to issues relating to church morality and all this. Good evening, Apostle, and thank you for accepting our invitation. Good evening, Mr. Van Givinatius. Good evening, viewers, and good evening to everybody out there. And permit us, uh, you know, to say welcome back home after, you know, we know that you have been away for some time. Oh, thank you very much. I really missed you guys. I miss everyone out there. I missed home. Thank God I'm back. Actually, and our viewers too would have been asking where you've gone to because you have been a regular, you know, face with us here on Viewpoint. Accompanying Apostle is uh, a journalist. Augustine Wendung, he is, uh, you know, not new. Good evening, brother, and thank you for accepting our invitation. Good evening, uh, Vinatius. Good evening, uh, Apostle. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, dear to the viewers. It's always a pleasure when we are solicited to come a uh, kind of a uh, true light on burning issues mm -hmm. affecting society. Yeah, to me, I call this yeah. like my, my, own, uh, my own part of the national service. To me, it's like service in, serving ah. the nation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. National service throwing light on issues affecting uh, the country. Yes. Let us take part one of the program. That is the Yes and No Answer session. And Apostle, I will begin with you. Can the church broker peace in the ongoing crisis in the Northwest and Southwest regions? Wow, that's a great question. And uh, if I have to say to somebody out there, if I have to say in issues, uh, I will reverse that question. Yes. It will rather be if the warring factors yes. give the church a chance, can the church broker peace? So the, the answer is yes, if if they give the church a chance yes if augustine can the church broker peace in this ongoing crisis i will say yes and say whether they give the church a chance or not correct the church stands the only moral institution that breaks bands that demolished mountains and i mean divide seas all right so the church is capable yes the church can the church can. We take the second question, Augustine, and remain with you. Can the failure of the church be considered as weakness? I wouldn't see where the church can even fail. Okay. Because the church is that of Christ, not man. He is the head, head of the church, mm -hmm. and the church cannot falter. So it is not man a weakness. Man can falter, but not the church. So it is not a weakness. It's not a weakness. Apostle? Yeah. Uh, if a church is not a weakness, it's not a weakness. Okay. We would get their point in part two of the program. If you are just joining us, you are watching Viewpoint on DBS television, and we are also broadcasting live on our Facebook page. Can the church broker peace in the ongoing crisis in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon? We understood that when the crisis began, church officials were talking of uh, his, his eminence, Cardinal Christian Wigan Tumi. We are talking of the moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon. We are talking of the imams of the Muslim uh, uh, faith. We are talking of the full gospel uh, 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 Baptists, you know, yes, uh, uh, pastors who came together trying to broker peace into this uh, crisis. We know they were talking of meeting in Boya, which it did not hold. That is why we are looking at it tonight to find out if the church can broker peace in this crisis. And Apostle, you think that the church can? 
if and only if the warring factors give the church that opportunity. Yes. Apostle, we want to hear you out. Automatically, because what is a church? A church is a gathering of saints. A church is a gathering of worshippers. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? A church is a gathering of those who have come together to worship God. And you see, with the things of the church, is voluntary. In as much as the church has powers, the church is of God. Okay? Yes. But despite that the church is of God, the church cannot go out to force people. The church is not like a state with a military wing, with a police arm. Are you getting it? Yes. That when they say this is, okay, this is what the scripture says. We have to do this. And if you don't do it, you are punishable to this. Human beings at times, when they are not subjected to punishment, they are not ready to give in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now as a church, everything that the church can do is voluntary. Okay. It comes from the people. You understand? Yes. Because if it was possible for the church to do things the way they want automatically, then God would just blow a wind and everybody gets saved. Mm -hmm. But in as much as salvation is free, there is a willpower. God has given everybody the willpower. And the power to decide, to, to choose between good and evil. Joshua said to the people, he said, choose ye this day. I put before you, life okay, and life and death, but yes. choose you this day. Are you getting it? But I advise that you choose life, that you may live. But as of me and my family, we will worship the Lord. So the truth is, in as much as we can all see that the church can give a way out, but if the people are not willing, God has given it, a human being the moral power, the free will, to decide what is good for you and what is wrong for you. And so now, in a situation where the people are not willing, the church has nothing it can do. We can pray, we can shout. Are you getting it? Yes. And by the way, even deliverance is voluntary. Mm -hmm. People desire to be delivered before being delivered. People desire to be healed. Before being healed, you can you see the, the case of Jesus and blind Bartimaeus. Okay, when he came to Jesus, despite his situation, Jesus asked him, What do you want? Because you can find somebody around you shouting and shouting, but what do you think that he needs is not what he wants from mm -hmm. you. Yeah, so um, uh, now looking at it, why am I standing on this? When you look at Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, the Bible calls Jesus the Prince of Peace. Okay, and when you look at John chapter 1, verse 3, it says, By him were all things made, without him was nothing made that was made. Mm -hmm. And now, so by him, when you go down to John chapter 1, are you getting it? Mm -hmm. In John chapter 1, when you get down to verse, uh, verse 12 from verse 10 he says he came to his own and his own knew him he not him. okay yes. getting to verse 12 he says to those who believe in him and who believe in his name he gave them power to become sons of god so for the church for and now the jesus we are talking of here is the prince of peace you don't accept him are you getting it mm -hmm. you should be ready to accept him then for you to benefit what he has he is a prince of peace you keep him out of it you keep the peace out of it Okay, yes. without him were all things made was with um, by him were all things made. Without him was nothing made that was made. So you put the church out, it means you have put the peace out. So if actually you desire the peace, then embrace the one who is the author of peace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just as you said, you say from the initial stage, church leaders wanted to intervene and whatever. Yes. Things did not work out. Things did not work out because they were not willing. They were willing. But on the other side, are you getting it? Yes. The people who like had the final say, the people who can say, okay, yes. So the church can speak, and if it goes through to some who have the power to decide whether it should come to an end or not, if the church can have its way through these people, then it can come to an end. A Apostle, before we go on, when we're talking about the church, you define the church as a group of saints. Yes. And we understand that the belligerents of this crisis, they are members of this of the church because when we talk of the church the church as a as a whole that is where they are members of this church that is when now i will tell you something the fact that you see people go to church on sunday does not mean, even mean that they believe in what they are saying there. Mm -hmm. people go to churches with different intentions mm -hmm. are you getting it mm -hmm. and so some go to the churches yes i thank god for that are you getting it but at the end of the day what is said there do they do it you understand we see it every day and so you have some who go to church and mind you when he gets now to the this is a political crisis mm -hmm. when he gets to political matters when it comes to his state as a whole okay we have seen cases where keep your faith aside are you getting that mm -hmm. we talk this as a state it's not everybody in the gathering who will accept what is being said where you went to. 
Mm-hmm. Are you getting that? Mm-hmm. So now you come, you so when you get so it makes it difficult because when we talk of political crisis, talking of a political crisis, there are institutions, and when we talk of political crisis, the church can handle that aspect of like human lives passing on mm-hmm. for us to pray. We don't want to see killings, this and that. But this is a crisis that I'm telling you that a crisis where. A nation, a group of people say they want to separate. Mm-hmm. Are you getting it? Mm-hmm. And so this, this is like a this a Christ that when you come into this is about interest to an extent to a certain group of people. Are you getting it? Mm-hmm. And for the church to step in and be able to put things in place, then the church will have mechanisms that can that can address this issue, economic issues, political issues, and. I, I don't know how to put it, but you get what I'm saying. Yes. Words. Are you getting? Yes. So there are there are organs that the church cannot handle, except if those involved are ready for the church to step in, and then the church can now mediate, and the church can work out with some of these organs that can handle things like this. We know during wars, when there are wars going on, there who they call spoilers during negotiations. Mm-hmm. You go, you call people for negotiation, and there are agents to spoil it. There are agents who are en- benefiting from it. No matter what you do, they go behind and try to influence things that it shouldn't so work So that out. it should continue. It should continue because, because they, they know they are benefits. benefiting from it. Okay. Are you getting it? And now, so the church at that level, okay, mm-hmm. the church at that level has no power. It has nothing it can do. And above all, when you want to say, if you want to go to an extent, some of these guys know the scriptures. In as much as we are a church, we are citizens in a nation, mm-hmm. and we are all subjected to the laws and the constitution of this nation. Mm-hmm. They would point to the Bible and tell you that Romans chapter 13 said, everyone should be subject to the authority, yes, for every is authority God. is of God. Correct. So they are ordained and placed there by God. Mm-hmm. So Mr. Preacher, mind yourself. Exactly. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to you, Apostle. Augustine, you, you said the church can because the church is the only moral authority how far has that morality that moral authority of the church been strong enough to convince you know to 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 withstand because we heard of recent we had the 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 the, the, a messenger from rome that came to cameroon and his message was still clear put down the guns go to negotiation and reconciliation truth for this crisis to come to an end and nothing is happening Oh, come on. You can see, say it again. Nothing is happening because people see only with the naked eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay? The church, like the apostle is saying, the church is not an army. But the weapons of the church is more than bayonet. Because as we are talking at the moment, as the armed conflict in the northwest and the southwest region is ongoing, only the priests, only the pastors enter amber camps and they and come out. They come out. Yes. Can you believe me? Of course, that's They a fact. come out. And do you know that once they go there, there's conversion? It happens. It does. Yes. And I want to tell whoever, look, righteousness exalts a nation mm-hmm. yeah. and sin reproaches that nation. Good. Those who are hardened, okay, is for a time. The truth. Is only that which can set us free. Yeah. And the truth is not automatic yeah. because the truth is not democratic. Okay? Mm-hmm. If the truth was democratic, Jesus would have been kneeled or crucified. Those who crucified him, <laughs> you will not tell me that they didn't know that he's the son of God. <laughs> they knew that he was the Messiah. Mm-hmm. But they were mainly denying the truth. By the end of the day, is that the truth prevails. So the church stands paramount. Even right now, you are talking about the Anglophone General Conference that did not see the light of day. Mm-hmm. His eminent Christian cardinal to me was there, as you did mention, mm-hmm. the right reverend, uh, 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 the right reverend Funky. moderator, uh, uh, Funky Samuel yes. Foba was there. Mm-hmm. The overseer of the full so, gospel was there. Yes. The executive secretary of, of the, the Baptist CBC convention was there. Was there. Mm-hmm. The grand imam yes. of the Bermenda and the Boya, Boya most were all there. Yes. But I want to tell you that there is no regret in any of them. Because they know those who believe that they are the powerful, they will come to bow. They will come to kneel. I want to tell you this today, that for this nation, Cameroon now, to be healed, they will only go back to the church. Mm -hmm. Because there is no political leader 
who can heal this country. No way. There's no political leader who can reconcile this country. Mm -hmm. No way. Only the church. Mm -hmm. When they will eventually sit, because they must sit, except Cameroon was created by the devil, <laughs> of which I, Augustine Wendum Doye, know that Cameroon was created by the God of heaven. Mm -hmm. And whoever is at the helm is only the servant. You might deny it not to serve that master and serve another person, but the fact is that Cameroon as a nation remain a nation under God. Because you can go time immemorial and you see nations that have rejected God before long they return to God. Yeah. Okay? They return to God. So I maintained that whether they are giving the church the opportunity to reconcile and yield and rebuild Cameroon or not, they will be obliged to do so. The truth. The truth will prevail. It's so powerful because I want to let you know this. Those pastor said all of them are frontline pews in churches. Yes. They are expert uh, uh, quoting the Bible. Uh, 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 quotas. Yes. But I want to tell you that now is not to be a biblis. The context in which we are is not to be a biblis. Mm -hmm. It's not about quoting Bible verses. Is about living and witnessing and standing for the truth because good must be done and evil must Subdued. be resisted. Uh, Augustine, the truth must prevail. Yes. yes. Is this truth not being, de not, not delaying so much so that many innocent souls are dying in this crisis? Why is this truth delaying for long? Oh, well. I am not here to say that you, uh, if there is anyone who is sick and bleeding in the bones, is Augustine Wendell mm -hmm. Because God created man in his holy image and likeness. Yeah. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. Mm -hmm. And said that he has given us power to have dominion over, over all other creatures exactly. and to subdue the earth. And God alone have the prerogative to take away life. Mm -hmm. So when I see blood spill, it's painful. Oh, it's not only painful. To me, it's satanic. Mm -hmm. It's demonic. Because what is going on in the northwest and the southwest region, being it perpetrated by government forces or by the ambas themselves, I declare it satanic. Mm -hmm. Because this is human life destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay? But I want to come to say here and now that <laughs> there is nothing like delaying truth. Mm -hmm. Because People talk, the apostle talk about saints. Tell me one who died a normal death. Martyrdom. Okay? Martyrdom. You know, the fact is that people have taken upon themselves thinking that they can sacrifice human blood to the altars of their political greed mm -hmm. and egoism. Of which they are passing time tiring road to hellfire because you know the many the hundreds and the thousands of the innocent souls that are dying in the northwest and the southwest regions they are saints because these are martyrs of course they didn't create this situation they didn't merit it and they are dying for it and you are, are you and I even on this panel, we cannot say for certain that we are free. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying here is that God is still speaking. Amen. God is talking to someone. Even in the midst of this in the, chaos, in the midst God of this is still chaos, there. this anarchy. God is speaking, mm -hmm. and that is why the Pope will sit and send his second in command. Secretary of State. Secretary of State. Vatican Secretary of State. Yes. That was the Pope in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that, hey, that today you hear his voice. Had harden not your heart. heart. Okay. Uh, Augustine, I will come back to you to look at this issue where people have hardened their heart. Apostle, before we take question two, should we say that Cameroonians have hardened their heart, like Augustine is saying? Yeah, actually, the truth is, in a situation like this, preachers have preached. 
messages have come from all angles. We have all preached. We have prayed. But some people just decide to be adamant. But I know there's power in prayers. And uh, I just pray for things to be so fine. Because if God wants, when it's God's time. Which is the best? Which is the best. Yes. Irrespective of what we are seeing. If God was not in control, I've seen more than what we are seeing now. But at God's time, it shall be done. Oh, yeah. It shall be done. Uh, it is this time, Apostle, that we are asking. That should be our question too. Yes. It is this God's time that we are asking. Can we be considered the, the, this delay as this God's time to come? Because we are talking of the failure of the church to make sure that the church, you know, uh, brings this this God's time into reality. Should I say Do something? we call it? Yes. Should I say something that will shock you? Yes. Go ahead, Apostle. This thing is not yet pending, Cameroonians. Mm -hmm. It's not yet. If it was pending, Cameroonians revival would have broken in this country. Yes. It's not yet pending us. We are still I've been to comfortable Uganda, with I've it. I've been to South Sudan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been to nations who, that were traumatized, that were touched by war. And I saw the reaction of people. So people are still comfortable. It's not yet paining Cameroonians. Well, the time it will begin to pain us, everybody will rise up to pray. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of the pastors. It's not a matter of the. Uh, to me, it's not even about the leaders. It's about every Cameroonian. We have not taken responsibility to pray. We are still relaxed with it. It's not yet painful. It's not yet paining people. It has not reached us. Look, Jesus said, Come unto me, those who are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Mm. Now, there is one thing that makes people to look for peace. Should I tell you that thing? It's called tiredness. Mm -hmm. When people get tired, when people are tired of a situation, they'll seek for God. We are not yet tired. So in this case, the church... Uh, Say Cameroonians, okay. not the church. In this, church, in this year, we Cameroonians have not yet... It's, it's not yet paining us. Yes. It is not. If it was paining us, Dwala would not be parading up and down when, when Boya is not in peace. Mm -hmm. I watched the other time in Ethiopia. There was a small problem in one small part of the country. Yes. A certain group of people, I've forgotten the name, about 26 people were killed. The entire nation were in the streets. Are you getting that? Yes. It's not yet paining Cameroonians. The day to pain Cameroonians will rise to pray. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying people should rise and enter the street. No, mm -hmm. we will rise to pray people everybody will kneel down what are we talking nations that have denied god coronavirus humbled everybody exactly. oh, yes. we saw people praying in the streets in in uh, in italy yes. we saw people praying in the streets in jerusalem yes. this we saw people in nations that they had never accepted that there is a god mm. somewhere mm. nations where when you preach the gospel you are arrested and thrown in prison mm -hmm. they were all in the street on their knees mm. praying we have not yet reached that level when we reach that level Cameroonians will pray and this will come to an end Pastor, uh, Pastor, I like that. I take uh, Augustine. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the the Pope sent his Secretary of State to Cameroon. Cardinal attempted with his uh, uh, brothers. brothers in the faith. They attempted. We have not yet arrived at that position. It's not yet pinning us. All right. Now we are saying that all this attempt that has been made, calling for, you know, reconsidering the situation, reconciliation, uh, peace, dialoguing. Is it no weakness on their part that maybe they have not been strong enough to help people be like Apostle is saying, no. to people to feel the, the weight of this war so that they can go down to their knees and pray? No, the finger of God is still warning this nation. Okay. okay. Once God will wave his finger, my brother there is talking about people, they will not only pray, they will be creepy. <laughs> the yes. fact is that God is still merciful. Yes. But when we are going to take God for granted, as we are taking, mm -hmm. because Cameroonians are taking we God have taken for God's, granted, God, that God's mercy, God's mercy yeah. Yeah, for granted, mm -hmm. yes, we still eat, we still drink, mm -hmm. we still womanize. Oh, come on. There come a time, even those in power will not. I like the example of my brother there. Coronavirus. It, it, the, God decided to shut the world. Yes. Shut down the world. The global stand earth. still. Yes. Stand still. Scientists, philosophers, mm. preachers, apostles. I am the Lord. They went into caves. Even today, some have not come out. Mm -hmm. I want to say that God's finger is still warning Cameroon. Mm -hmm. As I said, righteousness exalts a, a nation. nation. It's not late for the past that be. 
to humble. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar was sitting on the gold on the, the throne. Gold throne eh? mm -hmm. But when the time of God came, he was humbled. He was humbled. So Cameroon is drifting towards he that crawl and true grass. Let Cameroon rise up and pray. Let Cameroonians not I, I will not even talk about rising and praying, brother. Mm. Okay. Let Cameroonians repent. Mm. Turn to we God. Need, we need repentance, radical repentance, turning to God. Mm -hmm. Because I say that the finger of God is warning. You and I may not know whether the next hour. That's when God will, will wave, his, wave finger. his finger. Yeah. You are talking to Cameroonians now. Yes. Yes. We are talking going out. You are talking to Cameroonians to yes. so that they should be able to make a U turn radical because, because of time constraint. The entire Christendom, whether you are a Catholic, Protestant puts, puts your congregation Please. aside. But the, the, there are no Catholics in heaven. I, I, I am even <laughs> saying right here. here now that no, we are talking about the, the, the Cameroonians and particularly Christians mm -hmm. because on Sunday they overflow to churches. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the Lenten season. Mm -hmm. The time the the time the prophet Joel described as the, the favorable moment, yes. the time of salvation. Mm -hmm. Let us go return to God. Mm -hmm. When we return to God with the people, look, James chapter 4, <laughs> reading from the verses 1 right down to 11, say, You sinners, watch your hands. Run away from sin. And Hallelujah. sin will run away from you. Amen. Because uh, friends of the world are enemies. Second Chronicles 7. Beautiful. Verse. Beautiful. If so my people who are called by my name can humble themselves and oh. out here in heaven and I'll rise up and heal their land. The, the this is not go. only to Cameroonians. We are talking from the number one personality to the base. Yes. yes. All right? Because it's true. Authority is given by God. But we should equally accept that authority is abused. Of course. Yeah. And once authority is abused, it's no longer for God. For God, that's it. So, let Cameroonians go for radical repentance okay whether you are a christian you are a muslim you are an, an, an uh, animist, animist call yes. for your god call for your god we are like in a situation we are in a situation of, yes. of yes. Jonah we are we while we must to, survive yes. to and, yes. and the, the yes. mariners told him they say what are you doing here you sleeper rise up rise and call to your god. god call your own god call your, your own god. god thank you gentlemen yes. for time constraint our technicians are telling us that we've taken up our time it would have been an opportunity for us to talk to cameroonians like you said that they should repent the time for repentance is now. now and like apostle like you said Cameroonians need to go down to their knees and pray. pray. Yes. Seek for the face of God. Seek the face of God, especially in the face of this crisis. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. And if I had a chance, uh, one thing, the, you know, some people from certain areas may think it, it doesn't concern them. Correct. But, but I want to tell you something. Cameroonians. If you find, if you have a farm and you find the insects or the birds in eating the another farm, man's farm, are you getting it? Yes. You it. don't chase them away. You when they finish yours. eating that farm, they'll they will cross over. You. So they if you think, cross. Cameras, they, listen, they, they if, you, if you decide not to pray, you think you are from Adama, while you think you are from East, it will you are in the you. same Cameroon. Thank you, it gentlemen. It is all of us. Thank That's you, it. gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is here that we call it a day. You would have understood, you know, the, 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 the intensity, the tone of their voices is to let us know how serious the need to pray in the face of this crisis it is. Next Coming up is the news in the English language with Cynthia Nguemo, who will be there again tomorrow for another edition. Good night. Coronavirus is not an imagination or an invention. It is a real threat that spares no one. We are already counting so many casualties the world over. The situation is serious.